In this video, I'm going to share with you four strategies that can help you transform your pain as we go through this intense shift of the universal reset where relationships are literally crumbling. Fellow Flames. In case we haven't met, my name is Dr. Harmony and I will help you live fearless, live loved, and live free. Today I want to share with you some strategies for you to rise above the pain that you're experiencing as we continue to go through this gateway portal between July, I'm sorry, June 5th to July 5th with the three eclipses and so many planets in retrograde. We do have the full moon coming up on July 5th that I hope to be able to share more information on that. But I want to bring you up to speed with these where things are currently. And as we know, the energy pattern for everything in the universe is crumbling from the government, the healthcare, the education, the financial systems. What I want to talk to you more about today is how that's affecting relationships. And at the end of the day, the number one thing that's shifting here in this timeline, and I will, won't even say shifting because I want to use the word crumbling. That's what's what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing. Things are literally crumbling. This is the tower moment of falling apart. And this is the pit of hell. This is to destroy anything that's not been working, and especially in all relationships to be able to learn how to navigate your own way, to be able to connect to your own self in such a way that you can have a healthy relationship with you, so then you can rebuild a new way to have a relationship with your beloved and anyone around you, technically. I'm seeing so many relationships in the last month that um, with clients and even people directly around me that we're talking, you know, lots of divorces and, and lots of um, ending basically any type of relationship that has not served a higher purpose any longer. And if you've had those experiences with people and there was not closure to the past of that, where you were to clear the energy with them, correct the imbalance with them, collect the fragments you've lost and basically reclaim the power that you you lost, you're going to be experiencing these people come revisit through your path in order to recorrect and rebalance the this lifetime with these people basically. In addition to that, that means one or two things. We have to clear out the space to create these better relationships as we cr this crumbles and we literally came here to redefine relationships as twin flames. So we're rebuilding a new way to experience relationships, which can only start if we have that relationship with ourselves. So there's four things that I want to share with you today that I'm seeing happen around basically everyone that I'm working with that I know you have to be experiencing it out there because this is just what's coming up. So the first thing is that you're being forced to feel emotions that you have ran from. If you've had pent up emotions, pent up energy, and your coping mechanisms were to distract yourself in every area of your life to basically run from those feelings and those emotions down to like say with the twin flame, that's what most people do either or the runner or the chaser tends to both run from the feelings or the emotions behind what's going on. When I say forced, this energy that we're in is creating a purge that is forcing the stuff out of everyone. So it's like, like it or not, you're going to be purging this. And it's releasing the energy. The one, number one thing I'm seeing being released in this is anger. All of the anger that's been stored and the mechanisms of unresolved issues that has built up going all the way back to childhood memories. And most all of this is linking back to the parental 
connection and the connection to the childhood wounds so you can stop repattering these relationships or cre creating relationships that are you're attracting to help make sure that you see it that you get smacked upside the head basically to see what it is you didn't let go of these are what i'm seeing as memory patterns memory patterns that are stored in our subconscious that have created programs that are still running and i got to tell you like even in my personal self like the last two months has been intense with all of this and in the last month has been even more intense and in the last week has even gotten more intense and even in the last few days has even gotten more intense to be forced to revisit things that were from my youth or in my relationships from very, very early on. The greater I've experienced different types of relationships from a standpoint of great love, each time for me has tend to take me into even a deeper shadow that I've never saw before or that I felt was corrected. And so these are memory patterns that are in our soul that's needing purge so that we can like let those go and let go, reprogram them so we can handle things differently because technically if it's coming up to clear, it needs to come out. It needs to be seen. It needs to be loved. It needs to be transformed. It needs to be identified that it's still there. And I got to tell you, I went through years and years and years of working consciously to clear some of the stuff that's hitting me in the last well a little bit of a month but definitely the last week and i didn't know there was anything left that could come up from that and i just also want to say one thing in that i'm just like you on this journey and i could just as easily be in bed today but i'm showing up here to put the pain into this purpose in a sense that to me that's also how i transform it how i release it so if you've been in this place of, you know, feeling like almost like giving up, you need to know that you are not alone, first of all. You're not the only one going through this. The whole world is going through this right now. And everyone is releasing like a lot of emotions, especially with this pandemic that we're under. And what everybody is seeking out of this is to come into a place of stability, security, and safety that feels protection, that's something we've never felt in like relationships. Like, I don't know about you, and if you have, tell me. And if you haven't, tell me. I've never experienced a sense of stability and security and safety in a relationship that felt like it was rooted. One, we're in this together. We're, we're gonna make this work in a sense that I got your back and you got mine. And it's never been that that oneness and i will say that i've been reaching that oneness but then that is also releasing emotions that are stored around that that is pulling up the things i'm talking about so this is an overwhelming time emotionally so you need to really honor this you need to be with this you need to feel this you need to let it come up and stop stuffing it and stop running from it so you can let it go. And I want to also tell you, it is so deep for people that, you know, I've, I've had more than one client in the last week send me messages about I'm at the end of my rope and I don't know if I can do this anymore. And so if that is you, I also would advise you to take some kind of action from a health standpoint to, you know, don't sit in that alone like you need to seek some kind of safety in order to release the stuff in a way that you can manage it for whatever that means because this is some deep shit this is really some deep shit and don't like negate that and don't like like um brush it under the rug like we've done in the past of like oh i can manage this it'll be okay i'll just sweep it under the rug okay those are the programs that are not going to work anymore so the number two thing is you're being forced to, I've kind of said this, you're being forced to see it. So the number one is you're being forced to feel the emotion. The number two is you're being forced to see what it is you have not been willing to see. And up until this point, and that's why the feelings are coming up to force you to connect to whatever that is and to release whatever you've been avoiding. And 
and when I say see it, the important thing is, is when you see it, that you can know that when you stop running from the emotion and you honor that emotion and you love that emotion and realize that emotion is really just a red flag that's trying to get your attention, that is technically your inner child that is reaching out to you saying, I need your help. I need your love. I need to be seen. I need to be heard. I need to be understood. And in that seeing, you need to take the opportunity to be in that, look at that, allow yourself to then link that back to where you can potentially remember where that pattern started or that emotion started and then connect that to how that's played out in every relationship of your patterns that you've experienced through this whole journey that you've had. And then to, once you create the awareness that this is a pattern, basically, then that is 75% of correcting the pattern. Now it's just course correcting in a, in a direction that you're redirecting your thoughts, feelings, your actions in a way that they support what you're seeing. Because once you see it, you don't unbirth the baby. You don't unawaken to what it is you're seeing. And you will be put to the test experiences, people that will continue to trigger you to get these emotions to prompt you to feel what you need to feel to bring it up like like I see that as like you know like in that purge I see it almost, almost like the flu like this is this is the flu here this is emotional flu this is like throwing up the things that you have not dealt with and it's it's real like it's real in a sense that this stuff is something that where can you sometimes go get help for that or where do you even know where to get help from that because I call all of the soul hospital when I work with clients that were literally going in and healing the soul. And, you know, you need to take and consider those concepts of doing that from the soul level. And if you've been doing that, you need to come into the realization that it's okay to where you're at and what you've done. You need to go deeper. That that's only taking you somewhere deep within you haven't saw yet. And that that's going to create the space for more love as you come out of that. And then the third thing, it's forcing you to surrender to this inner battle. It's forcing you to stop in that resistance. And then the fighting your ability to feel and see, basically. And then in that, what tends to happen is you want to point fingers at someone else. You want to blame it on your twin. You want to blame it on the other person that's causing you this pain. But you need to, in that, take accountability and responsibility for your own inner soul that signed up to experience this with the other person and your agreement with them, I should say, so that you then are willing to own your part in this relationship. You know, they, there's a saying, if you see more than one asshole in like say a week, you might want to look in the mirror, right? So if, if you keep having the same types of people show up that are keep triggering the same thing and you want to like blame that on everything outside of you, it's time to look inside and see why am I doing this? And there's some things I've been put through with this that's forced me into, not really forced, but I've taken responsibility and to that to say, own my part is what I'm saying. Like looking at it going, how did I attract this? Why did I attract this? Why is this happening again? What does this mean for where I'm at? And how does that connect to where I was and where I'm going and who I'm becoming? And how can I like clear out, like I'm, I always talk about like cleaning out the closet, love it use it or lose it. In fact, I had a post come through this week of my closet from like six years ago where I emptied it and there was nothing left. This is, all of this is no different than that. You're cleaning out the space here. And again, it's a forced surrender. 
The universe has stepped in to force you to, to look at yourself in the mirror and to stop pointing the finger at other people and stop making them accountable for your own part in it. You own a part in that. And so take responsibility for it and then let go of the resistance and the battle you have from fighting being able to feel it, fighting being able to see it. And that's like surrendering to the emotion, surrendering to the awareness, and that inner battle can come into some state of peace that says, I don't exactly know like outcomes in this, but I'm willing to sit in this and take out the trash, basically. And then the fourth thing, it's forcing you to take the action that you have put off. And that I can't stress that enough because so many people have created avoidance to dealing with emotions, thoughts, feelings, awarenesses, pointing the finger outside of themselves, running from the inner battle, using coping mechanism and addiction patterns to numb yourself from experiencing the connection to who you are. And in this, this universal reset, it's creating a universal timeline of course correcting. Meaning like it won't live in the vibration of the earth anymore, not just your own self. So the universe is correcting you. So if you even try to get out of alignment from taking responsibility or run from trying to feel it or run from trying to see it, the universe is going to step in and create these crumbling down situations between you and all these people that is forcing you then to feel it, forcing you to see it, forcing you to surrender to that inner battle and taking responsibility so that then you can then take the action for everything you've put off. And the other thing is, you know, what I find is so many people are at this crossroads with this right now. And that's where they're freezing because it's so overwhelming. They don't know what direction to take. Left, right, and at this point, it can be caving in at you from every direction. And in that, it can be so overwhelming on where to even start. I feel like where to start in that is to be able to come to some place within that says, I don't know what, I don't know where, and I don't know how, but I know I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of what my life has been, what my relationships have been, and how things have not aligned. And this is again where people are getting so confused on the direction because they don't want to repeat old patterns. And so they're afraid to take direction in, in the way that they might repeat old patterns so therefore it's kind of like in this freeze mode but I also feel like in that it's a sense of you don't really have to take this action that you've taken in the past from a masculine way to go out there and keep pushing keep like forcing okay it, this is more of the feminine grace empowerment side Looking at it from a standpoint of, I'm going to speak my truth, like I'm going to choose to do it from my heart and I'm going to stop stuffing it so then I can stop creating an increase in the amount of anger I have towards everything and everyone. But again, I think the first goal in that would be, if I brought this full circle, is being willing to see, feel these things like that's the first place like in the action if you don't know the direction make a choice not to choose any direction make a choice to be with it sit with it feel it ask your subconscious to reveal to it you what you're not willing to see if you need help outside of that don't block yourself from getting the help. By all means, get like some form of a tool 
a technique, a coach, or, you know, professional help of whatever that takes, but don't give your power away and that you have no options. That's keeping you stuck in the loop of I'm doomed. It doesn't matter which way I go because I'll just keep doing the same thing. Get this out of you. Take out the trash. Most importantly, see it all with love. And if you have not got plugged into my Reprogram Your Childhood's Wounds, which the first module is free, check out the link below because I am telling you that I keep telling all of you that actually changed my life doing it in a sense of helping me reprogram all of the things of my childhood. And of course, now we're at a deeper layer and another level, but I can tell you this, I wouldn't have been ready to see what I see now if I hadn't saw that either. And the other key in that is to remember that we are ever evolving. And if you in that direction, you think you're going to take a direction that's going to lead you to the end of this destination saying you've arrived and it's over, you will you will be continuing this path as long as you're in human form and as long as your soul is in, is in seeking this soulful spiritual enlightenment because our soul signed up to experience learning. And that's what this journey is about, all about learning. Be gentle with yourself. And I just want you all to know, I'm sending you, I'm holding so much space for so many people right now, just the whole world really. Um, on the flip side of that, again, I'm in my own journey here and I'm showing up to share from my heart and expressing that you're not alone. And just because, you know, we might like say be in this role to help people doesn't mean we have to have our shit together before we can help them. We get it together by helping them. And that's how we also continue to learn and share and love and be and you know I do foresee things shifting here in this energy but with all of the alignment of where things still are we're still diving we're still looking for the light we're still trying to release and purge but it's clearing space to open up the space for a new way to love a new way to experience relationships and that's what we came here to do with Twin Flames so please make sure to check out all my resources below and how you can glow forward with me. Please make sure to comment, like, share the shine. Make sure to check out the videos up here about my detachment series. And um, may you always face your fears, find freedom, and glow forward on fire. Namaste.